Hey, good morning, everybody. Terry Daniel, voice actor and coach from Minneapolis. How are you? Oh, I need to take a quick swig of this. I want to talk today about getting into voiceovers. Well, it's a little bit more than that, but some people tend to put the cart before the horse when they when they make inquiries to a voiceover coach like myself or really anybody um, looking for uh, tips on how the voiceover business works and, and how they get how they can get started. And unfortunately, when people make these inquiries, a lot of people want to take the shortcuts. They they've got their eyes on the pot of gold, the money. Now, I don't know if this comes from all these voiceover books out there that have floating dollars in front of the microphone or things that they've read. There's a lot of cheesy videos on social media and YouTube about voiceovers and, you know, uh, scandalous coaching companies trying to get your money, you know, when uh, they they have no business even teaching the craft. It's uh, It's scary. And by the way, I hope this isn't one of those cheesy videos that I just talked about. Maybe some of you might uh, label it that by the time we get to the end. <laughs> Hopefully not. I hope you uh, appreciate the candid information that I'm about to uh, give you here. And I do have, I'm going to cheat and look at my notes because I just want to talk a little bit about, um, if I can find the right document here, I want to go through some actual questions that I get, whether it's via a Facebook message or if somebody sends me an email or, give, you know, or, or if somebody calls me about, you know, hey, you know, this is, you know, we've all heard this. Hey, I've been told my whole life that I have a great voice and now is the time to do something about it. Well, I got to be quite honest with you. Sometimes people find out, well, there's there's an investment involved with starting a business like there is any other business. You got to train well. You got to get the professional demos. There's going to be a lot of legwork and uh, it's going to take, you know, a lot of time, money and perseverance. And a lot of the time people just disappear when they hear that. I think people want a quick solution for some type of financial problem or if they're unemployed, they think getting into voiceovers is going to be a real quick fix. And it's really not that kind of a business at all. Uh, it's not medical school. It's not something that's going to take 15 years to get going. But this isn't something that's going to be a quick fix for a financial problem. And we've all been through that kind of stuff. I understand it. People, you know, get a little desperate and they think that this is going to be a quick solution. Um, so I want to go through... Uh, some of uh, some of the real questions that I get, and I just kind of want to answer them for you, and um, I'll do the, the best that I can here. How can I get my voice out there? Well, that's a great question. This is a, this is a great question where it appears that somebody isn't really putting the cart before the horse. They were probably one of those people that, uh, you know, that were told for many years that they should be doing something with their voice. Um, and the, my answer to that is, how do you get your voice out there? Well, Let's talk demo. Actually, let's talk coaching. You really have to work with a reputable coach to get the acting part of voice acting. There's this thing called acting part of voice acting. You have to get your reads down. So no matter if you're doing character work, commercials, narration work, uh, you might think you have a great voice, but I get people that call me all the time. Oh, yeah, you got to call me. Listen to my voice. Well, you have a great voice, but then I'll send them a script to read and it's a complete disaster and it's no fault of their own. They just haven't been trained. They haven't been coached. They haven't learned how to read these types of scripts. And uh, so that's what I would recommend doing first before before your voice can get out there. You have to learn the skills. I'm unemployed and I need to make money fast. Now, this is the this is the one that scares me the most because this is an act of desperation and I understand it. I've been in that kind of a, a situation before. It's like, oh man, I got to find something that I can, I can make money fast. Uh, like I said before, this isn't medical school. It's not going to take you 12 years to get going, but you know, you, you have to, it's going to take an investment of, you know, mo uh, money, time, and it's going to take some perseverance. You know, you're going to be shut out. You're going to be turned down by talent agencies. You're going to have people that hate your demo. You're going to have people that love your demo and you, you just have to keep going. You know, don't, uh, don't run into a corner feeling sorry for yourself and give up because, you know, somebody rejected your demo or somebody said they didn't want to work for you, you know, and it might go as far as somebody saying, you know what, I don't think you have the right voice for this. There's a lot of chefs in the kitchen, especially with social media and the internet. Everybody is an expert. Everybody knows the right way. You know, 
listen to when it comes to listening to people's advice, you really have to listen to people who are actually doing voiceovers and people who have actually done it for a very, very long time. Um, you know, there's uh, there's a lot of nice people in a lot of these voiceover groups, but some of these voiceover groups are very amateurish. We've got amateurs giving amateurs advice. And that can be really alarming because I have people that will go into a group like that and they'll be steered in the wrong direction. Like maybe I had a consultation with somebody maybe a couple of days before and then they went on to a couple of voiceover groups that had kind of, you know, misguided information. And then they'll call me back and say, hey, I was in this such and such voiceover group and this person said this or this person said that. Well, does this person have any real experience in the field? So these are the kinds of things you have to kind of be careful about. All right. So again, my point is, you know, this isn't going to be a quick fix if you're unemployed. Now, if you have some capital or some savings and you can afford to, you know, invest in a coaching program, invest in getting a good demo made, excellent. Um, that's going to be the way to do it. And then you'll have more time because you are unemployed. You'll have some time to put into this. Um but, and again, we've all been, I sympathize with people who are unemployed. I sympathize with people that are just flat broke and they don't have the money to start a voiceover business like this. But if you think about any business, photography, even if you want to be a plumber or a painter, or you want to get into real estate, there's going to be an investment up front to get the training you need to have any chance to succeed. It's, it's, uh, it's not my opinion. It's business reality. Um, all right, I got this one the other day, um, and this is kind of interesting. Well, I'm just going to make my own demo and pass it around. Okay, uh, what are you going to make the demo with? What are you going to put on the demo? Um, who are you going to send it to? You know, and then this person didn't have an answer for me. I'm like, it's easy to take shortcuts and, you know, pass training and, and not want to have to pay for any kind of training service or demo. But I'll tell you right now, it's the first thing a talent agent will ask you when you call them up or you send them an email saying, hey, how can I get on your roster? Or if you call somebody that owns an explainer video company or an e-learning company or a production company, hey, send us your demo. You know, and if, and if you're sending something that you recorded on your iPhone or with a USB mic plugged into your to your laptop and then you find some free royalty free music out there somewhere. That's not going to be a really, that's not going to be a positive way to make a first impression. And it's not going to get you very far at all. I get it. You don't want to spend the money. You're just going to try to do everything yourself. Well, um, it's, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it's a quick way to get to a dead end. And, uh, you know, we, we, I tried to do that myself when I first got started. I didn't have the technology that we had today, but I tried to do my own demo and it was a disaster. Don't do it. Um, if you don't have the money to uh, invest in coaching or a demo, uh, just learn as much as you can about the industry and, you know, do that while you save money. And then when you have enough money, hire a reputable coach. Um, this is interesting because I'll have people that will be interested in getting, you know, signing up for our voiceover coaching programs. Well, my interest depends on how much this costs. Well, that's a little bit of a red flag because that, that tells me that you haven't done any research about what you need to do to get things going. And obviously that's gonna take an investment, not only a financial investment, but an investment of time. So you're telling me that if this is free, you're probably interested, right? <laughs> or if it's like 25 bucks, you're probably interested. You know, if it's two to three grand for a, a you know an intensive training program that includes demos at the end, you know, maybe you're not interested because you just don't want to put the money down. Um, and again, I get it. I've been there. But it's, you know, I hate to keep sounding like a broken record. But whenever you start any kind of new business, it's going to take an investment. Um, and then I've got another one here. How much? You know, don't people are so keyed in on the money and I get it. But it tells me that you haven't done any research. Learn how the business works. Go out there and read blogs, listen to podcasts. There is a wealth of great information on the internet. And of course, you have to be careful because not all of the advice is going to be realistic. There's a lot of misguided advice. And I know there's good bloggers and there's people that write blogs that are more like content writers that really haven't had the experience 
of being a voice actor, so you have to take everything with a, with a grain of salt as well. Um, I'm interested in signing up for your coaching program, but I need a guarantee that I'll succeed. Well, you certainly wouldn't say that to somebody who worked in the admissions department at a college, right? Or if you're going into photography and you're taking a flurry of photography classes or you're working with a photography, uh, photography mentor, um, would you say that before you signed up? Um, I get that every now and then. And, you know, I get it. It's an investment and people want to make sure that their investment pays off. But, um, you know, there, there's unfortunately no coaching program in the country that's going to be able to offer any kind of guarantee. And on, honestly, I would be really alarmed if any coaching company did, that's, that's really a dangerous thing to, to, to say to somebody, Hey, if you sign up from our pro, if you sign up for our program, I guarantee that you'll be successful. That is a, um, really quick way to get some blowback real quick. <laughs> I mean, because, um, if you're not upfront with people, if you're not using candor with, uh, with people who are interested in signing up with you, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's going to, give you a nice kick in the ass later on. So, and it's going to, it's going to spell a lot of trouble. Um, your pricing is crazy. Yeah. It's not cheap to start a business. It's not cheap to start any business. It's not cheap to go to college. It's not cheap to learn how to be a plumber. It's not cheap to learn, uh, you know, to go to dental school. It's not cheap to do anything like that. So why is, uh, why is voiceover any different? And I just lost my notes because my screen went into went into hibernation mode. Um, let's get that back up one second here. Can't you tell this is this is live? I'm not going to edit this out because I want this to feel live. <laughs> but why is why is getting into voiceovers any different? So you you think you should have a free ride just because this is voiceovers? Or I've never really understood that. And um, yeah, I mean I'm not saying it's cheap, you know. Would I, I'd rather spend money on a vacation, a motorcycle, a big screen TV. There's all kinds of fun stuff that you'd probably rather spend money on. But if you're really passionate about getting into this and you want to have any chance to succeed, again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a financial investment. It just is. Um, so you can tell me that my pricing's crazy. That's fine. But why don't you do some research and go around the country and you'll find that our coaching programs are actually pretty competitive uh, compared to a lot of training companies in L.A. and New York. You know, do the research. The more research you do, you know, if you had done a bunch of research, you wouldn't be coming at me saying my prices are crazy because you will have already uh, discovered what it takes as far as an investment. You would have seen many different training companies and their pricing. Um, this one's, um, I don't need training. I don't need training. I just need people to hear my amazing voice. Well, that's great. There's a little bit of an ego in there, which can, uh, pretty much draw a red flag. Um, uh, well, I'm just here to tell you that you do need training and I don't care how great you think your voice is. You do need training. Uh, if you want to knock on somebody's door and get somebody to listen to your voice, <laughs> you know, that's up to you. If you think that kind of uh, marketing strategy is going to work for you, uh, go for it. You know, I'm just, you know, taking little pieces out of this person's email. And I'm, and I'm not here to sit here and mock people's emails like this. I'm not making fun of everybody. I've been there. It's just, it's ignorance because you just, you haven't done the research and you don't know enough about the business. So people make assumptions, people put the cart before the horse and everybody's got, you know, their, uh, they've got their eyes on one thing, the dollar signs. And a lot of people just aren't willing to put in the work or the investment. So um, while you might have an amazing voice, don't say you don't need training. Every time somebody sends me this, I'll send them a couple of scripts. All right, well, let's hear how amazing. Sorry, my video cut out. It'll be back in a second. Well, let's see how amazing you are. Can you send me a couple of MP3s or, you know, even use, you know, use the voice memo app on your iPhone. And 98% of the time, it's a disaster every time. The read is terrible. It sounds like they're reading. There's all kinds of stumblage. It, uh, there's no inflection at all in the read. There's no life. There's no color in the read at all. It's flat. It's bad. It's just plain bad. So, you know, it's great that you have a great voice, but don't, you know, don't send me emails saying that you don't need training <laughs> because that's just, it's just, it's just stupid. It just is. Um, here's another one. I have the, this, I, I just got this one like a, a week ago. 
I have the voice of God. Call me now to hear it, or it's your loss. Okay, so I'm just going to drop all of my work here. I'm going to call you real quick because I don't want to lose out. You know, is that, do you think that's going to get you work? You know, if you sent that to a client, do you think they're going to be impressed by that particular email? Hey, you better call and hear my voice or it's your loss. Hmm. Tell you what, it's your loss if you don't figure out how to do this the right way. Um, and you may have the voice of God. You may have deep, rich pipes. That's great. But don't send somebody an email saying, call me now to hear my voice or it's your loss. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think that's going to work very well. Um, number 10, are you a scam? You know what? It's not a bad question because there's a lot of sketchy companies out there just selling shit. You know, coaches who aren't even, they've never even done a voiceover in their entire career. They're really just salespeople. People doing these, these, um splashy sales videos. It's just, you know, it's internet marketing 101. And the person on the video isn't even a voiceover artist. They just figure out a way to, to make money doing it. Like, hey, I'm just going to try to lure people into my, my, uh, my video series. And, you know, there's going to be a bunch of upsells. And, you know, you know, if this, it, it just, yeah, that doesn't work for me. I hope that doesn't work for you. So I used to take it personally when people would email me after, you know, reading some information about our programs and our prices. Well, are you a scam? I used to take that really personally. I'm like, you know, you know screw you. <laughs> but you know what? I don't do that anymore because there is a lot of, a lot of real shady uh, companies out there over the internet. And again, you have to do your research. You have to see what they've done. You have to talk to people who've used them. Um, there's a lot of videos out there and a lot of people that are going to want to take your money for coaching. Um, so um, I'm here to say that we're not a scam. Um, just a little bit about our coaching program. Um, I work with uh, three other coaches as well. Jan Anderson, Rob Marley, uh, Trish Bassani. Between all of us, we probably have... God, it feels like about 80 years of experience doing voiceovers full time. And that's I'm just kind of, you know, adding up all the years that we've all been doing this. Um, so it's, uh, you know, even if you don't work with us, work with somebody. If you're really serious about getting into voiceovers and doing everything the right way, uh, work with somebody. Work with some type of a reputable coach. Um, and also, you know, with, uh, with voiceover training companies, look at the testimonials. Look at testimonials on their website. Uh, LinkedIn is a great way to, uh, to find out who's worked with them. Uh, there's usually a big long list of recommendations. Um, at least there is for mine. If you look up Terry Daniel uh, voiceover on LinkedIn, uh, you'll find uh, recommendations and uh, really good reviews from a lot of our students. Um, some of these internet coaches, if you will, they don't have any, any reviews at all. No positive recommendations, you know, and there's a lot of great coaches around the country, a lot of great coaches. In fact, I've used them myself because, you know, coaches get coaching too. Um, <laughs> just because, just because we're, just because we're voiceover coaches doesn't mean we're absolutely perfect at our own reads or at our own businesses. You know, mentors need mentors. So do a lot of research. And again, I, I used to get real defensive when people say, are you a scam? I'm like, well, what are you talking about? Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, and then, you know, I took a few steps back. I'm like, well, they've probably seen a lot of shit on the internet from really shady people asking for a lot of money for not very good information, you know, misguided information, bad demos. There's a lot of them out there. So... Um, I hope this video helps. I just wanted to grab a quick cup of coffee this morning and talk a little bit about, you know, the, the right way to really get into this. So um, I think that's going to be it for now. Um, I put this on YouTube. I think I'm going to put this on Facebook. But uh, if anybody's interested or learning a little bit more about how the voiceover industry works, you know, you can send me a PM on Facebook. You can email me, terry at universalvoicetalent.com. I'll put it up on the screen here. Hopefully there it is right now. 
Um, and, uh, you know, if you're interested in coaching with us, you know, let's chat first. I'm not going to, I'm not here to, to hard close anybody on anything that we're doing. I always like to chat with people and hear what their goals are and hear what they can do. And, you know, we'll see if we're a right fit. Sometimes I even recommend other coaches because I don't think we're necessarily a good fit for people. So it all starts with just having a conversation. All right. Thank you for listening. Terry Daniel here, voice actor and coach from Minneapolis. I will talk to you soon. Have a great week, everybody. Cheers.